Well, as you can tell, it's already laid out. I'm just leaving the house, taking my hike back in. And taking the rifle. I wanted to, uh, to take a little hike. Just do a little second season scouting today. And if I get the opportunity to fire the gun, I'll fire the gun. But I was about a quarter mile into my hike this morning, right at first light. Realized I forgot my wallet. Has my hunting license and my license license in it, so had to run back to the house and grab that. But now we're off. There's just a little tiny one, so it's, it's tough to track, but let's see a deer track. Cross right here. So I think I'll be able to cross up here a little further without getting my boots up. Well, I hit the mile and a half mark here. It's been mostly like just open big woods, um, except for down by that by that stream that I crossed. Uh, a couple good trails that had tracks on them that were worked either last night or yesterday or the night before it snowed two days ago so I am working up <clears throat> behind me here after this flat it shoots kind of straight up this side hill so I want to get up that side hill and just work that ridge line around to another area and check it out Keep hiking. Oh, I'm sitting where I ended my archery season. Uh, just that side hill that overlooks this bottom. And I'm just gonna hang out here for another 10, 15 minutes before I have to make my way to work. Blast of a uh, rifle season. I had the rifle Monday and the end today, so the last, uh, the first and the last day are the only days I hunted with the rifle. On that. Well guys, it's Saturday afternoon, last day of rifle season. Thought I was done this morning, but I got the opportunity to skip out of work early and I'm gonna go hit it. So I'm gonna try this one last ditch effort and hope something wanders out. Taking the bow out tonight though, so should be fun. Well, my dudes, I just got done taking a nice little hike. Got a little blind brushed in, so I'll be able to hunt on the ground second season. Uh, the area I was at the last day, it's actually 20 yards down, right where those doe crossed up over. So, it's, a, it's an area that I know they want run through. There's always tracks, there's a heavy trail that works up there. It splits off and headed out to where I was sitting. And then it also uh, continues on uh, up that side hill. So I'm set up a little closer to where it cuts over. So 
whether they want to continue on out to where I was or cross up over when they hit that intersection there will be an arrow waiting for them hopefully is the plan so I'm pretty pumped on that um, but I'm gonna get my winter garb off because it was cold outside and finish editing this here podcast so we'll be able to get that out Monday which would have been last Monday because the way that our vlogs are going to run it's going to be a Sunday through Saturday and then we're going to edit them down for a Wednesday release and continue with the Wednesdays so stoked on that Kevin's out doing something today I got off the phone with him about an hour and a half ago he's going to take a hike um, we get some stuff done around the house since his kiddos aren't around and his wife's not around so take advantage of that situation all right guys so it is december 10th and rifle season is officially over i uh i stayed off my property quite a bit other than a few days i went out with finn hunting uh doe <clears throat> but uh i'm at my food plot today i'm going to be checking cameras I haven't checked anything in a couple of weeks only because I don't want to push the deer around my property. So I'm going to move a few cameras, check a few cameras. Right here I'm on this scrape that got worked all year. Um, I have an eight point coming into this food plot. I know that at night. So what, I'm, what the game plan is is to piggyback a few uh, trail cameras. Um, figure out what trail this buck is using. He's a decent eight point, kind of short tined, maybe a two and a half year old. But my game plan is to figure this buck out for Mark uh, second season. So after Christmas, second season comes into PA. And as long as he keeps hitting this turn up plot, they're digging up the turnips. Um, as long as he keeps doing that, which I, I don't think there's too much other feed uh he might get a crack at him so it's going to be a lot of work on my part to try to figure this buck out but i'm gonna have a lot of fun doing it and hopefully hopefully mark gets a crack at him so you can follow along with me as i move some cameras around I'm up at the spot, I have an exodus here. This is the, the saddle I always talk about. Let's see if I can show you. Round top here, ridge line, and same thing here. So I've had a lot of buck activity shooting through here. Um, 
up on top is where Finn and I have been hunting doe and he missed one the other day. So this is where Split, the buck Finn named this summer, has been coming through. We have not had pictures of him since before rifle season. I think November 30th was the last time we had pictures of him. So I'm gonna pull this card. I've only had it running for a week or two. Um, we'll see if he's on it. Hopefully he made it. Turkey. Too much activity coming through here, which I assumed only because of rifle season. So, what I'm going to do is pull this card or pull this camera rather, and I'm going to go piggyback it on uh, that food plot, trying to catch that big eight, figure out where he's betting, where he's coming from. Late season is a good time to pattern a mature buck. He's not mature by any means, two and a half, maybe three and a half. I haven't really had a good look at him. So either way, it's gonna be fun trying to catch up to him. All right guys, so I got three cameras hung now. I'm kind of just surrounding the food plot, staying maybe 80 yards off of it on the major trails. Pretty sure I know the one he's using, but I'm not positive. So I'm setting my Exodus on video mode so that we can start to log uh, some pictures of this buck, hopefully. But this is kind of a nice bench going out along here, going around, and then it goes down into the valley. Off the top is my food plot. So I have my camera out, taking a few pictures for my partners, and gonna hang this Exodus. Um, on this tree right here so hopefully in a few days or next week on the vlog I can give you some pictures and show you what this guy looks like maybe give him a name and hopefully uh, put together some type of story for this so hunting for me is about creating memories creating stories and and number one I love trying to figure deer out I'm not the type that likes to go out and just shoot any deer. I like to try to figure them out, so that's kind of my thing, but the only problem is, is my property is getting timbered this winter, so if you look around, this is my property line, and then my lease begins, but all of my 30 acres is getting timbered. It's gonna thicken it up, increase the habitat, the only thing is I'm not sure exactly when they're going to cut it and I'm not sure exactly when Mark and I can hunt this deer so lots of ifs but got to try somehow so like I said I'm out the last day yesterday was gun season today Sunday got a little free time after putting together my my little girl's bed and and some chairs and getting ready for the new one here in April so uh, the wife went to a family or a church Christmas party and she said, why don't you stay home, get that stuff put together and then and go have a little time to yourself. So she's awesome and with, without an awesome wife, uh, none of this would be possible. But here goes nothing. We'll hang this camera and check with you guys next week. Sometimes I don't do a good job explaining what I do, but cameras, I like to have them about waist high facing down the trail so that when the deer are coming you get either you get more pictures of them and it's not a quick flash and they're a lot clearer with with the Exodus cameras I haven't had too many issues with uh, blurry photos but I've always gotten into that habit you also don't want them facing the sun um, the sun will whiten your images and a lot of times that's when deer are moving so you know you try to get as clear as pictures as possible but you know, another thing is you, you try to keep them scent free, um, not right on a trail. In this situation here, I 
I probably should have moved it over a little more. Um, but I haven't really found these cameras to scare deer at all, so I'm going to set it here, see what happens, and if, if nothing comes through here, uh, we'll give it a, we'll move it, but you know, try to keep them waist high. I'm on private property. I'm not too worried about people stealing them. If I was, I'd bring in my my climbing sticks and hang it up maybe 12 feet and angle it down towards the trail. Usually people don't look up for cameras or anything like that. So that's kind of how I set them up, you know, but having an idea where the deer move through is your number one. Um, kind of just rambling here, but we got the camera set up. I'm going to take a few pictures and, and get out of here. And, Enjoy the rest of the evening with my family before I head back to work tomorrow. So have a good week, guys. We'll catch you guys later on. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. As always, hit that subscribe button. We'll be back at you next Wednesday with another vlog and podcast. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's about these guys and the switch. So hope you guys enjoy. Peace.